Well, all right, so let's say the aliens <laughs> land. The aliens have landed, and uh, there is an encounter, and, uh, you know, the Pentagon or somebody who um, is responsible for all of this uh, determines that, in fact, something has happened, and, uh, you know, we need to call somebody. Um, who, do we, who do we call? It's you, isn't it? I'm your man, yes. Yeah. yes. I mean, that is literally true. Uh, well, I chair a curious body called the SETI Post-Detection Task Group. SETI stands for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. So now we're leaping from little blobs to little green right. men. Post-detection. Right. And, and so the job of this task group is to deliberate on what we should do next in the event that we get incontrovertible evidence that we are not alone. Uh, it hasn't happened yet, but I often say at dinner parties, it goes down well, that if E.T. calls on my watch, I should be the first to know. But, but does that mean, I mean, does that literally mean that there's some sort of Arizona area code that if you call it, they pick up a high SETI post-detection uh, task force? Right. The, the there is? The, well, no, not no. quite like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> there, and there is this, uh, this group of people. There, it's international. Uh, the big problem is it doesn't have a budget. So, oh, that is a problem. So we, we can't get together that often, but from time to time at least a group of us do. And uh, you see, it's more than we're sitting around waiting for the big day. We're thinking about, well, supposing it happened. And it may not be we pick up a message from an alien civilization. It may be that we detect some weird thing out there that on closer inspection seems that could have no natural explanation. Then what is going to be the impact on society, on our science, on our religion, on our technology, what next? And so it just pays to be for, forewarned, or for, for, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So we are sort of trying to think about the impact, the, the, it, should this uh, occur. And as I say, it may not be a signal from the aliens, it could be that we just stumble across something that is, is going to convince us we're not alone. You know, I, I, I just, I want to pursue this just a tiny bit more. And, that, you know, it occurs to me that if, if the world actually is thinking along these lines, you know, you'd kind of want the president to have, you know, one of those officers with a briefcase. And, you know, I guess there's the nuclear launch codes in there. That's the big joke. But you'd also have, like, your phone number would be in there, too, in case. I like to think so. Yeah. But, is, but it, it turns out. Any, are they supposed it, to call it, you? It turns out, you know, that basically... Uh, politicians, uh, and right the way up to the United Nations, ha has almost no interest in the subject of, of SETI. And so this is driven by scientists and well-wishers. So this task group contains uh, some media people uh, and, a, and a priest uh, and a couple of science fiction writers. Buzz Aldrin, probably. Uh, n n not yet. No, not yet. But no. He's invited. Um, and. Uh, uh, and, and it's an advisory body only. So we can't, so supposing you are the one that makes the big discovery, you're sitting at a radio telescope, uh, there's nothing I can do to then say, right, we're taking over now, uh, it's all under control, don't tell anybody. Uh, so we can't do that. We can merely advise uh, it would be sensible to do this or to not do that. Uh, but the problem is that a discovery like that, which would be unique in the history of science, it's almost impossible to predict particularly in these days of social media, how it would actually pan out on the day. And you can imagine that everybody might want to do the right thing, but somebody's only got to text their girlfriend or something like that, and, and, and it's out there, and then there's a media frenzy, and then the astronomers can't even uh, work to study the problem they're dealing with uh, because they're besieged by the media. Well, um, there is that interesting trade-off. I mean, you, you, you can't be too secretive, and, and uh, I guess Donald Rumsfeld already tried the I'm in control here, um, right, or Alexander right, Haig right, or right. someone like that, yeah. So, so, uh, but I'll tell you what we don't want. You see, we don't want any Tom, proverbial Tom, Dick, or Harry commandeering a radio telescope, pointing it at where the message comes from, if that's the way we get the evidence, and beaming their own personal homespun wisdom on behalf of planet Earth. <laughs> So I think if there is going to be a response, it's So keep be your cat pictures on your hard drive, okay? <laughs>